the Anti-Matter Radio Show, where conspiracy meets science. Here's your host, Jeffrey Grupp. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this quick Antimatter Radio news clip. It's the second one on the uh, false flag fake oil spill in the Gulf. And what we're seeing in the Gulf, as I made my, fr as I said in my first video, is not an oil spill. Okay, there may be some oil mixed in there, but it is not an oil spill. That's why we're, um, you know, martial law troops are being set up in places to make sure you can't get to the oil. That's why there's a pelican. Uh, that's covered in some orangey, reddy, brownish junk stuff, who knows what. And then the picture on the cover of this YouTube uh, video that I've made about this news flash. But, you know, of course, a lot of people in the YouTube comments are saying, oh no, the reason the oil is red is because of the chemical dispersants everywhere. See, this is what people do. They just make up little stories so they can make sure to keep their mainstream ideas uh, in place so they can make feel rest assured that they're not being lied to on TV and everything's as they were told and and they can just easily forget about all the lies the mass media tells them every day why we're in these wars and, and so forth but to get to the issue here you can quickly solve this issue about the chemical dispersants not being uh, the cause for the the sea of red that we have that we're calling oil the mass media is telling us is oil humorously all you have to do is just look up what either the mass media is saying or uh, the quackademics are saying about it. And it's, but it's, let's go back to an early article. Here's Time. You'll see on your screen Time magazine, uh, May 5. Uh, BP uses chemical dispersants in the Gulf. Uh, about halfway down the article is a paragraph that says, um, me, the oil is not black but has morphed into emulsified orange, red, and brown gobs, often with the consistency of mousse. Partly, experts say, because of, the, because of extended exposure to air. <laughs> That's what we're told. I guess we're supposed to believe crude oil turns these psychedelic, psychedelic colors when it is exposed to air. And then, oh, then they say in the next paragraph... Oil, experts also attribute the emulsification estimate to the estimated 29,000 gallons um, of or roughly 1 million liters of dispersant sprayed onto or injected into the water. So now we know that they're lying because of the first... They're just trying to come up with anything to get people... This is You have to understand, this is hardly anywhere is this mentioned. You go try to find explanations of why the oil is red and it doesn't come up too often in printed text. But they're coming up with two completely uh, unrelated reasons. The first one is clearly a lie. Past oil spills have not turned uh, the kind of red, uh, brownie red that we're seeing just absolutely across the horizon in the Gulf now. Nothing like that ever anywhere is the case, in an oil spill that is, and underwater volcanoes it is, but I'll get to that in a minute. So but anyway, we know that what we're seeing in the Gulf is totally new. This red stuff wasn't like this in any past uh, spill, like I just said. We know that for a fact. Exxon Valdez didn't. We all remember the birds and everything that were soaked in black. So it's total garbage. So we have, caught, we have the mass media totally lying through their teeth here to us. And they're just basically ad hoc coming up with hodgepodge reasons to try to explain this being the case. So what could it be? What could it be? You're seeing on your screen right now a news story from the BBC from July 3, 2005. Japan monitors volcanic steam. An underwater volcano is thought to be behind a column of steam above the Pacific Ocean, Japanese officials say. Uh, moving down here, a couple lines. It's highly likely that it's caused by an eruption uh, of an underwater volcano. Okay, here's here's basically what you see if you see this picture, which uh, you have on the cover of the YouTube video. Looks exactly like the Gulf spill, except with some steam coming off of it. 
it's the same color and so forth. Now they don't even, you have to keep in mind here in this BBC article, they don't even know what caused it, they're just guessing. Okay, so it's not like they said, oh yeah, there's the lava and there's exactly uh, where the uh, volcano erupted from and I see the red glowing rocks and the water temperatures heated up dramatically. None of it. They're, they don't say any of this. They didn't even know at first it was an underwater volcano. Okay, so all these people emailing me saying, what about the water temperature change? What about, you know, well, of course the volcano was deep, deep, deep in the ground. You're just getting mud and all this stuff and coming up from uh, deep, deep, deep down. You know, all the, all, these, all the questions are answered that people keep firing at me and attacking me over on this um, by this story here from Japan just a couple years ago. The picture, I mean, it's just stunning how close <laughs> it looks, just like this red streaking stuff all over the Gulf. It, this has some steam in it, which the Gulf, as far as I know, didn't. Maybe, obviously, it cooled more or something by the time it got to the surface in the Gulf. Or who, I don't know. Who knows why? But uh, if you obey what your eyes see, we've got something here. Television footage showed white smoke billowing to the sky from the brick red water. We suspect an undersea volcano move... We suspect the undersea volcanic moves are becoming active, said another Coast Guard official. An undersea volcano last erupted, blah, blah, blah. So am I saying we have absolute proof the Gulf is actually a volcano? No. I'm saying the characteristics seem to line up with it, as you know, Henning Kemner first uh, pointed out. So no, it's just that's what it seems to be. I mean, if you just use your eyes, you see that this is not an oil spill. Okay, that is what is known with certainty. This is not, an, we've seen a zillion oil spills, and this is not one. What you're seeing on your screen right now are pictures of the Exxon Valdez oil spill from years ago in Alaska, and it's nothing like the reddish, maybe red, reddish brown, but mainly reddish streaking in the sea of red in the Gulf, and chemical dispersants were used there as well. More so, I, I thought in Time Magazine we just heard that, oh, it turns red because of its exposure to air. Oh, okay, uh, well, why are you not seeing that on your screen right now? That's a total, uh, how can Time Magazine publish this? Total lies, crap, garbage. We all know it's not true. We've all seen a zillion oil spills. It doesn't happen. They're a bunch of liars. And you can go check, uh, the, as far as Time Magazine goes, any other oil spill. I've looked everywhere for chemical dispersants sprayed on oil spills. It doesn't turn the color that this stuff is. Okay? It, it's Somebody can plant a story and say, oh, you missed this one. They do. But I've got pictures of Valdez. I've got pictures of all kinds of stuff for recent chemical dispersants going on uh, oil spills, and it doesn't turn reddish in any way. So it, I think we are conclusively showing here this is not an oil spill. It's not oil. Do I know what it is? I have some ideas, but no is the answer. But I do know it's not an oil spill. Um, amazing how we can be tricked in the mass media. Just like we were told on 9-11 that a plane hit the Pentagon, all of us believed what we didn't see. Now, again, we're all believing what we don't see. We don't see oil. We see this red goo, but we all believe what we're told. Now, I know Lindsay Williams was on Alex Jones today saying that this was... Um, they that the, confirming there, that they hit something, a volcano or something down there, um, and he was saying it was actually an accident, and they really didn't know. I don't believe that it was. I, I would disagree with him on that second point that they didn't know. Any any secret government who has HARP at their disposal and all these technologies for seeing. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly where they're drilling. There is no way that they accidentally, oops, drilled into something by accident. So I would have to disagree. They've got technology to know exactly where they're going. They can see into the earth with harp-like technologies. No way was it an accident. 
So that's all I have to say about this issue. It's close to being settled, it would seem, in, in some ways. Uh, it's definitely the case that it's not an oil spill. We know that much, at least. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, please go to antimatterradio.com and subscribe to the main radio show, Antimatter Radio Show, $2.89 a month. You will get Monday through Friday the best radio you're going to hear anywhere, breakthrough information you've never heard anywhere before that will change your life every single day. $2.89 a month. Subscribe at antimatterradio.com. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Take care. You are listening to Antimatter Radio from West Lafayette, Indiana, the show about everything, where conspiracy becomes science, where the natural becomes supernatural, where the brave new world slave becomes divinely inspired. <laughs>